Okay, so this part two of real time troubleshooting of WebLogic server is specifically dedicated for the Oracle database. Okay, uh, or you can say about some specific common database queries. So whenever we work in a production support, okay, then a lot of times it happened that the issue was or issues due to your uh, of your database. Okay, uh, specifically if you are running an Oracle database, okay, then you have to run a lot of uh, basic queries. Okay, maybe when you are in an outage, okay, there would be a lot of stakeholders in the call, okay, and you need to provide certain kind of details to the different stakeholders in the call, okay, then in that case, uh, you should aware about certain basic queries, okay, that so that you can address the basic demand of the other stakeholders in the call, okay. So in this video, I will focus on some basic Oracle database related uh, queries, okay. So if you are new with the database or maybe you have a certain kind of experience, okay, so your WebLogic server is configured with the database where all of your, uh, whether it is a custom data or whether it is a uh, metadata, okay, everything is stored in your database, okay, and then your Oracle WebLogic server connects with your database with the help of your data source and connection pools and in that time it fetch the contents from the database, okay, but many times there are a lot of scenarios that happen that your, uh, maybe due to some, uh, 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 poor performance tuning of your database or maybe due to certain uh, runtime different kind of scenarios okay your uh, database may not be performing well or maybe certain kind of the configurations are not good at your database side okay in that case you should aware about certain basic queries okay so one of the case is that many times you will uh, heard that or maybe you will feel that in the log files that uh, the, your server is not starting due to that your some of your uh, database account is get logged okay so in that case, what happens is that there are certain parameters, okay, after the, like for uh, after certain days or a week or a time, according to the settings, okay, some of the account get locked, okay. So for that, you have to go to database and then you have to unlock that particular account, okay. So now if you wanted to check the particular account, which is uh, got locked, okay, you wanted to check the current status of that. You just run the query, select username account underscore status from db underscore users, okay, where username equal to specific, which is get logged. So this user, maybe you can get from the log files, or maybe if you are not sure, then you can skip this uh, parameter and just run the select username account status from dba users, okay. And that can, it will list all the accounts along with the status of the account, okay. So if any account is locked, then you will see the status as locked, okay. And you have, then you have to fire the command alter user system account unlock okay and this command will unlock the account and then it will open the particular account okay and if your web logic server was not coming up okay due to the account log issue then after that you can start your web logic server and it will come up okay so how particular account is get logged it it, it depends on the many of uh, uh, the parameters that is defined in 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 the your database profile okay for that particular user okay and you wanted to, you wanted to check the spy expiry data of all the users okay so that you can plan uh, to reset uh, account in advance okay so for that you can run this query so column is a kind of a, a command which is used to set the width of a column which is going to be displayed on the screen when you run the SQL plus utility Okay, but the query that you can run to get the expiry date of all of your account is select username expiry underscore date account status profile from DB users. Okay, it, it will display you all the username and the expiry date when the user's accounts are <clears throat> going to be expired. Okay, and the current status of your account and the profile. So profile is a particular, you can say, group of resources that is allocated to a particular user. Okay, for example, as I said that we wanted to have a certain kind of a custom group, okay, profile where a set of users uh, will be configured with a predefined configurations like we wanted to set that the user uh, account password should be of 12 character length with, with, with certain kind of restrictions like numeric character, alpha numeric characters kind of things. I would like to set uh, the maximum expiry of their password for 180 days or 60 days. So, so this kind of a custom configurations for a particular set of users you can define in a profile and then particular profile you can assign to a user, okay? So now where we can see the profile is there is a table called db underscore users, okay? Inside db users, you will see all the users there in your database. And in the db underscore users, apart from users, you will see a column with the name of profile. So this profile say you about which profile is assigned to a particular user. 
okay and all the resources configurations for a particular user okay or you can say for a particular profile is defined in db underscore profiles okay so that means in db underscore users you will see a detail of all the users their account status log date expiry date password etc okay and in profile you will see the name of profile which is again defined in your db underscore profiles table okay and if you wanted to see the profile which profile is assigned to a particular user then you can get it from the db underscore users by giving the query select username comma profile from db users it will give you the name of a profile which is assigned to a particular user okay so on the screen you can say or uh, see that all the users are defined with a common or the default profile which is with the name of default okay and for to check the resources a limit okay for a particular profile okay that has been assigned to the set of users okay so for that you can run the query select resource underscore name limit from dba profiles so where profile equal to default okay so suppose that you have defined a, a, a custom profile for a particular set of users then you can replace this default with the name of profile that you have uh, given during the creation of profile okay and then you can list the resource name and the limit of that one okay so there are a lot of uh, uh, resource name you can see on the screen okay and the limit has been defined as unlimited unlimited that means there is no restrictions on all those such parameters okay and then apart from that the failed login attempt allowed is 10 okay then after 10 uh, failed attempt okay the account will be locked password lifetime would be one three days and after that it will ask you for to reset the password and similarly there are a lot of other uh, <clears throat> parameters are there okay uh, that you can define with the help of the profile option of your data base okay and if you wanted to change any of the parameter for example you wanted to assign password lifetime is unlimited okay which was there uh 180 days okay now you don't want a, a password lifetime of it 180 days you don't want the user to be prompt get prompted and to change their password every 180 days then you can define it as an unlimited so it will not uh, prompt user for to change the password okay in any time of period so for that you can define a command alter profile default okay because you are going to alter the profile with the name default okay and the limit for password lifetime you are defined as unlimited now again run the query with the same uh, which you ran in the last screen okay then here you will see the password lifetime now is unlimited instead of 180 okay so similarly if you wanted to change any of the parameter for the profile of a particular user then you can run the alter profile and the profile name and then limit and then limit after that, you can define the resource name and then you can define as unlimited. If you wanted to give unlimited access for all the parameters, then you can define unlimited. Or if you want to change in with some other value, you can define it accordingly. Okay. Now, the basic queries, uh, like you wanted to check the total space of your database, then you can run the first query. Okay. And if you wanted to check the use space in database, okay. So first one is about telling you about the total space or total size that is defined uh, for your database okay and second if you wanted to check the out of the total space what is the actual space which is utilized by the database then you can then run the second query okay from the dba segments okay the first query you are running from the db underscore data underscore files to check the complete size of your database and to check the use space you are checking it from the db underscore segments okay and then again you have to check the free space and again you can check from the db underscore free underscore space and if you if you will uh uh, do the addition of your second last two queries and you will get the first result of the first query because that is the total space second is your user space and third is your free space so many time you maybe you will get a certain kind of a queries and call then what is the total database size or what is the uh, used space of your database or maybe the importantly what is the free space or free space in your database so that time you can use this query okay and if you wanted to check the database use in free space in a single query then you can just copy paste and run this particular query okay and this will give you the database size then use the space and then free space of your database okay and if you want to check the size utilization of each schema because we have a lot of schemas in your uh, database okay and so schema you can refer to as a user we have a multiple users in your database okay and then if you want to check the size of each and every schema separately then you can copy paste this command and run it will give you the utilization of all the users corresponding users okay and apart from that you know the uh, in database we have a table space as well which is a logical unit for storing your data 
Okay, so most of the time in a support, we deal with the table spaces where we uh, increase the size of your table space when it is get about to full. Okay, so you can just copy paste and run this query. Okay, it will give you the name of table space and then what is the size of your table space? What is the use space, free space? And then it is in percentage. What is the percentage of table space which is used and then the free? So here you can see in the screen that your table space is 99.20% filled. Okay. So in that means you have to increase the size of that particular table space, which is system here, right? The system table space is consuming 99.28, okay? So this is the one of the most common uh, issue that we have, uh, you can see in, in, in the production or maybe some in the other environment as well, when your application will get hung or they will stop responding, they will throw you a lot of different kind of exceptions and logs if your database size is almost full because your database or your application would not be able to write in your database if the size is almost full okay so you have to check this query whenever you are in any incident okay you have to this is the first one you can say check that you have to run in your database what is the size of your all the table spaces what is the free use and what is the uh, use space in there okay so that in that case you can run this particular query now how to increase the table space size okay you can first check the name of your uh, database file with the help of select file name table space name from db data files right so here you can see that the location of your data file is C app and C Negi virtual Oracle data demo versal. Okay, so it, it may be different for in your case. Okay, so basic uh, theme is that you have to get the location of your data, data uh, database file first. So once you know the location of your data file, then you have to alter your table space, which is getting full, and you have to add one more data file. Okay, so you can see that in, in, in that particular location, I have for system table space, I have one data file with the name of system01.dbf. So what I'm going to do is here, I will alter the table space system and I will add a one more data file with the name of system02.dbf and the size that I'm giving to this data file is 1024 MB, right? That is around one GB of size. And then I'm giving the auto extend on max size giving four GB. That means initial size I'm giving up one GB and it can extend up to 4G, okay? When the space, uh, more space is required. Now you can see in the screen, the initial usage was 99.28 and after running this particular query where I have extended the space of table space, now you can see the 85% is used and the 14.68% is free. Okay, and many times the, there is a requirement, there would be some requirement to identify the default and temporary table space of each user. So for each user, there's a temp uh, default table space. That means whenever you create a user, there's a default table space and a temporary table space is assigned to a user. Okay, you can define it as a custom as well. When you create a user, you can specify the default table space of that particular user, and then you can specify a temporary table space as well. So this could be a custom or this could be default. So many times you have to identify which default table space is related to a particular user or which temporary table space is related to a particular user. So you can run this particular query, which is shown on the screen, okay? And then most of the time in support, we deal with the number of sessions that are created at the database sites. So if someone is telling you, okay, what is the total number of database allowed session? How many sessions are allowed in your database? Then you can run the this particular query where you can get the name as sessions from the V dollar parameter okay this will give you the total number of database sessions are allowed to be created by your application okay this you can check with the show parameter sessions parameter as well there are two ways okay and if you wanted to check the active we can say about the connected connections okay the connected sessions those are the active at a particular time that you have three ways given there the first one give you the count star count star that means it will give you the number total count of the sessions that are connected second query will give the username of all the sessions those are connected. And third one is giving you again the same thing along with some few more details, okay, when you are running. And these are the few more command which is related with the sessions, okay. Those are the connect active sessions and deactivated sessions, okay. Then you can run these command, these particular queries from the P dollar session table and then you can give the some more details of the sessions of particular users. Okay, and then if you wanted to to monitor the long running operations, okay? And this is one of the, another basic query that you can check in the support where you have to check for all the long running queries, okay? Because they they they, 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 they take your complete, all of your threads at the application side. If they are not getting released and they are running for long durations, okay? They can choke your threads on the application side. So you have to check for the long running sessions as well. So first query will give you all the 
operations those are running uh, or you can say those are long running sessions and second query is it is if you have a backup set up on your database with the help of rmen okay that means maybe certain time your backup is running which is consuming high cpu or high cpu utilization or maybe consuming high uh, bandwidth of your database okay so you can run this particular command okay to check the status of your backup whether it is running or not or what is the percentage of comp of the backup it is completed or not okay so these are certain basic commands i could stay tuned for a few more interesting videos and i will come up with few more uh, videos with lot of other advanced queries which is related with the uh, database so thank you very much for watching this video and stay tuned